sustainable urban living meets the needs of the present without reducing the ability of future generations to meet their needs. This is important for managing the many challenges of today's cities, as seen in the case studies covered in this topic. The five key aspects of urban sustainability are water, energy, waste, green spaces and transport. A sustainable water supply requires collecting, conserving and recycling water so as little water is used as possible. Rainwater can be collected for use in gardens or indoors. Dual flush toilets can be installed and water meters can be used. These can be complemented by campaigns to use less water, for example reminders to make sure taps are always turned off. A sustainable energy supply requires using more renewable sources and restricting the use of fossil fuels. Homes can be made more efficient through insulation, triple glazing, energy efficient products, smart meters and solar panels. Waste management involves reducing, reusing and recycling waste. This includes both regularly recycled items like plastic bottles as well as large items such as fridges and furniture. Urban greening involves increasing the amount of green space within a city. This helps to keep air clean and provides both a habitat for wildlife and a recreational area for people. Trees can be planted in parks and along streets and more open green spaces can be created. Gardens can also be developed on roofs of buildings which also help soak up excess heat in the summer. Effective transport management helps to reduce air pollution, fuel consumption, journey times and risk of accidents. A large and integrated transport network, which means different forms of transport can link to one another, is vital for encouraging public transport use. This often includes buses, trains and metro services all within the same city. Congestion charging zones can discourage people from driving their own vehicles in central areas and extensive cycling infrastructure such as bike lanes and self-hire bikes helps to increase the number of people cycling. It's important to know examples of cities that have some of these sustainable urban living practices and these will be covered in the next video.